These AI apps are completely changing everything and the best thing is they're completely free. So we're going to be using my phone for these examples because they're apps at the end of the day and the first one we're going to be jumping straight into is the ultimate AI assistant and that is, you probably know it already, Chat GPT. Now I would say the free version of this is really good at helping you to write, brainstorm, script, you know, help you even have a conversation to work out any ideas. So if we're here right now and I just want to put in, you know, help me brainstorm a new idea for my blog about, I don't know, chocolate cake, because everyone likes that. We can simply press that and then straight away, that sounds delicious. Every time I use this still, it still blows my mind how it does this. You could see, you know, unique chocolate cake recipes, deep dives into the history of chocolate cake and culture. Didn't even know that was a thing. You know, fun and engaging cake challenges and you get the idea like that. And if you basically then wanted to also use the search function, so to do the equivalent of a GPT Google search, you press the internet button there and you see it turns blue and all you have to do is say, explore this idea more and give me, give me more I don't know, clarity on the history <laughs> of chocolate cake. So you can see it searched the internet now, it's pulled all of the information and what it does as well, it gives you links at the bottom. So it'll actually show you where it's got the information from and then straight away it takes you straight through to the website. So this is an overall really helpful tool. And again, I am glancing over this, but this is something so powerful to have in your pocket and it is only capped and limited at the end of the day by your imagination. Now, the next one we're gonna be talking about is Perplexity AI. And then straight away, you're gonna see it's gonna take us straight through to our chat interface right here and you can literally ask anything so again universe may exist in a black hole you know what let's just even go with that universe may exist in a black hole so we just click on that and then straight away you see it's doing this in real time real time i'm not doing anything and then again you have all of the information here so the idea that our universe might exist inside a black hole is rooted in the black hole cosmo cosmology 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 but the interesting thing is here minus my reading capabilities is where it has the different numbers here so it has one two and five these are the different sources of where it's got the information from so again you can just click it and then straight away it's going to take you straight through to the wikipedia page like that if we click on number two it will take you through to the other one you can read through it get the information for yourself but it gives you clean access to where we got all the information from so you can then go ahead and verify it for yourself as well and do any more research now again this is a perfect app to use for very quick searches but very more detailed at the same time and this is completely free to use and this will quickly become your best friend for when you want better information on questions that you may have and you can follow up these questions as well now if you're looking for an ai that is completely free and helps with logic and reasoning and you could argue that you know chat gpt and perplexity does help with this well i'm going to do one better for you and i'm going to give you one that is completely free and after playing around with it it is really fascinating how they do it now that is deep seek now you may have heard of deep seek you may have seen that it you know broke the internet effectively a, a month or two back shares in the advanced computer chip maker NVIDIA plunged overnight after investors became concerned by a cheap Chinese artificial intelligence program called Deep Sea. You will see that you actually have access to two things. You have access to the search feature, so to go over the internet, which up until recently on ChatGPT was for pro members. So it has the currently, at the current point of filming this, it was also free for free users as far as I know. But the other one here is the DeepThink R1 model. Now, what that means is, is that it will do a deep search, a deep thing. So if you ask a question and you want it to be really thorough and you know really break down the prompt and the answer it gives you, this is what you're gonna use. And this is something that is great for logic prompts, logic questions, and seeking very detailed or thorough specific answers. So when we're on here now, we're gonna press deep think R1 because that's what we want it to do. And we're simply gonna put in, what can we put in off the top of my head? What is the meaning of life? There we go, nothing more than that. And that is a very open question, but it's also logical as well. And it also touches on the human side of matters as well. So you can see here, thinking, it breaks it down. So it's telling you as it's working it out in real time, all of this and this <laughs> just blistering through. So we've got the answers coming through now. The question of life's meaning is profound and multifaceted with diverse perspectives across you know different domains. But you can just quickly me go through it with religious spiritual views, philosophical, scientific lens, personal subjective you know, and then you have the conclusion as well. It just gives a really detailed answer. Now, again, obviously I'm doing this 
for the fun of the video, but and the example of the video more importantly, but really be really detailed. And if anyone is out there coding, doing anything like this, this is going to be your best friend. That's not my realm, but again, really great. Have you ever wanted to create studio quality video and audio, but actually be able to record it from your phone? Well, that's where Riverside comes in and we're gonna be looking at their app. Their app is absolutely great and it allows you to do all of this with a few clicks of a button. And make sure to use the link in the video description down below when you sign up for your free trial, you're also able to get a discount. When you're on here now, you're gonna see that you have your recording studio and all of this here is where you have all of your videos that you have recorded or that you want to set up and film in the future, whether that be a podcast or another video project that you are doing. So for example, here in the bottom right, we'd press record. And then quite simply here, when it loads, you would see that it sets up. My name, Danny Morris, hello. And simply you would just press join. But if you wanted to just, before you join and you wanted to make any additional changes to the video itself, you can mute a speaker, invite people, use this as a second camera to your main camera if you wanted. Also, you know, contact support. But after that, we're gonna press join. And then straight away, you're gonna see you're in the studio and it is a very simple, very easy layout. Once you're here, you can press record at the top and you could start recording. Then you would just press leave and then you would find your video. So you can see here, which I've got with all my videos here, this is your video library. So this is where it would be. So any video, so for example, we can press Alex and Danny. On here now, once you actually press on it, you go into the space of being able to edit it and have a look at the actual video. So here, for example, if we just scroll down, you'll see we have a draft and an exported version. This is because I've already done it, but I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So you wanna press here, the editor. And once you've gone on to the editor, you will let it load really quickly. You're gonna see that it's very friendly, really easy to use, and just really intuitive. So again, if you wanted to trim something, you're able to trim anything, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds. You know, if you wanna cut anything, you can. If you, look at that. <laughs> you know, and you can actually choose where you want to cut, but I'm already happy with this. Again, we can add captions. We can change how the video look. If we want to make it, you know, nine by 16, if we want to change it to be you know, like square for Facebook, maybe LinkedIn, or we can go back to, you know, 16 by nine. And then once we're happy with everything, we can simply go up here to export the video. And then once we are actually here now, you can see the video quality. Do you want it in 4K, 1080p or 720p? Then you can add a watermark, hide it, remove any background noise, do any AI, you know, enhancement just here with a few clicks of literally a button or if you just want the audio again you can export the audio choose what quality you want the audio in and you know export it from there so then once you've exported your audio or your video so for this example the audio we can click on the three dots we can rename it or we can share it and then once we share it we can save it to our phone copy the link you know upload it straight to spotify or a reel or anything else like that and it is that easy and that intuitive make sure to go down below click on the link use my code where you'll get a 15 percent discount and you'll be able to start using your phone to create content to create podcasts whatever it may be just on your phone here. Now, if you love AI powered creativity and you want to be able to create, you know, AI images, for example, really quickly and the best bit for free, then you're going to love this next app. And this is quite a new one to me. Now, this is called Le Chat. And as I've re been researching this and actually playing around with it, it is the European version of ChatGPT or more, you know, closely to the point, the French version of ChatGPT, hence Le Chat. You are able to do a lot of different things. You can actually add, you know, select documents, pictures, take a picture, you can surf the internet, you can upload files, do coding, anything like that. So it is actually pretty similar to ChatGPT, but I haven't got as far to play around with it for consistency with, you know, those documents. But the point of me filming this video, you can actually do that. But the AI image generation, that's quite interesting. So if we say create a realistic, image of a boat setting sail at sunset. And honestly, with the colors, just again, off a very basic prompt, it is really, really good. Now, if you actually do wanna learn how to prompt, free link below to get my downloadable guide of actually how to prompt for images, talking to chatbots, you know, creating AI videos, all of that, sign up below, links down below. And I'll just add some extra detail to it. Create a realistic image of a boat setting sail at sunset with smooth waves, birds flying in the air, and people celebrating a lovely day. But the one thing I don't like is that you're actually not able to zoom in on the pictures, so you have to download it. These are the images right here that you can see. So if we actually just 
zoom in. This looks really nice, nice texture. I mean, it definitely looks like it's AI for sure. Then the second one, now this looks a little bit more cartoony. The birds actually looked a little bit deformed, like there, I don't know what that's meant to be. But again, I like the waves crashing. It has listened to that. I like the color red. So there you go. And the people look like they're celebrating. So again, to say it's free, <laughs> it, it's really good. And I think the, the actual images are very usable. Now, the next one is called 11 Reader. Now, this one is very similar to Notebook LM. And if you're not familiar with what Notebook LM is, this was something that broke the internet last year in terms of it going viral because Google basically released, released this platform where you could upload a document, a YouTube video, anything like that and then you could start creating a podcast from that, an AI generated podcast from that video, from that document that you could listen to on the go. So whilst researching this, I found another one and it's from 11 Labs. Now this is called 11 Reader. If we just wanna use a document, for example, or a website or anything like that. So for this example, I'm gonna use a website. We can paste the link. So if we just go on there, paste link, next and this is about the happiness to life to live a fulfilled life so here you go straight away and if you want to read through it obviously you can or what we could do is press listen it's just come straight up now and we can press play to read through it there's 28 minutes is it 28 minutes really wow and you can just listen to this as you know do anything instead of you having to read through it so we can just press play Rand, picture this you're born raised and live your entire life in one place shigehiro oishi my dad is 91 years old now and he's a farmer. It's crazy and you can all, you can also choose the voice if you want to change it. I think I'm with Brian at the minute, but if you want to change it to someone else or am I with George? So I'm with George, a middle-aged British man. But if that's what you want, you can change it. You can do that, but for me I'm happy with that. Now the best bit is to turn it into a podcast. You need to press Gen FM, which is down here. So again, you want to create an episode, we will press that. And as that loads, notify me when ready. It does this cool little, you know, we're getting ready. Not bad, right? But because that's gonna take a little bit of time to load, and you can see it's loading here, we have something else that we can use, which is another example, and I was actually comparing it to Notebook LM. It was about a document that was just explaining what Notebook LM was. And then here we go, Gen FM, revolutionizing learning, AI's audio discussion. It can now turn complex documents into engaging audio discussions that sound remarkably human. But here's what's really interesting about this breakthrough. You know what strikes me about this development? It's not just about converting text to speech, it's- Do I think the voice is as good as Notebook LM's one? No, but I think to say it's free and to have it on your phone in the power of an app and you can change the voices, play around with it, I think it is really great. Now the next one for me is really, really good. So let's say for example, you're going to a big talk, a discussion, a meeting, whatever it is, and you need to record a lot of information. So maybe normally you just write notes down. Well, this is an app for you that will stop you doing that and will listen to everything to for you. And you can just pay attention in a minute and go through the notes after. Now this app is called Otter AI. Now this is a very new one to me. I wasn't very familiar with it, but I ended up going to a discussion back in February in Sofia in um, Bulgaria, and it was a AI summit effectively held between the Bulgarian embassy, the French embassy, and the French college, I think it was, I can't remember, the French something institute, the French institute, and it was fascinating. Four hours of talking, you know, fascinating angles of how AI is going to change our world. But at the same time, that would have been a lot of notes for me to write down and I really wouldn't have been able to do both. So if you can't multitask like me, then this is good for you. These are where all your conversations are. So again, back, sorry, it was in January, not February, the end of January, near February. This is the talk that I went to. So this is all of my old notes that I recorded and it was just able to do it and I just pay attention and take part. So then if I wanna go through everything after. So again, just this one talk free, I've given it a different name, but you know, supporting AI innovation, ecosystems, competitiveness, versus regulation. And again, you can just go through all of this and if we just press play. Uh, so yes, uh, this is necessary. Uh, I would say that- uh... So this is what was recorded with me sitting quite far back with it just on my lap. And you can go through all of this after. You can take the information, interact with it, download it, put it in a different, you know, chat box. You can put it in the chat complexity, you can put it in chat GPT, whatever you'd like. And then you can go through all of your notes 
and keep it. But even here, summary keywords. Again, we have medical data, AI regulation, uh, cultural bias, all of that sort of stuff. And again, go through it after, but whatever it may be, this is what it allows you to do. This again is still quite new to me, but just if I wanted to start recording something, you just press record and then straight away it's recording. You can see it is there. And then straight away you can see what it said. That's literally what I said. If we want to give it a name, this is, and if I can spell, this is a test. And then that's recorded just like that. Now the free version gives you up to 30 minutes of recording time, then it stops. But the good thing is you can just press record again after 30 minutes. So for me, it was great, really handy tool. Check it out. Now the final one is called Arc Search. Now this is a privacy focused AI search engine. And this was actually very new to me. And I only just recently, very recently in the last couple of days found this. And I've been playing around with it a little bit and it's basically like a chat GPT search, but it actually respects your privacy even more. And it gives you very detailed answers, but broken down in a way that are easy to consume the information and actually interact with it. So just let me show you what it is. You come up to the home screen right here. And you just have three simple icons, settings to add a page, so to add a search. And then you, if you have any open tabs, you could press around with it and move around with it. But I haven't done any of that yet and I don't have an account. But again, just for the search basis, if we just put in a very basic search, I said, what is better to create AI videos? But if I just say, what is the best AI website right now? for creating AI text to videos. Sometimes, and this is a strange one, you'll see it has two different switches at the bottom. It has Google, and then it also has the actual Arc Search itself. So sometimes when I do the search, it will open in Google. Other times it opens in Arc Search. Now I don't know how to stop it doing this at the minute. Maybe it's just the basic settings, but again, it is very new to me. So you can have a look at that. But if you press over to Arc Search straight away, it shows you as it's reading it, what it's going through, reading nine web pages, and straight away it gives you the answers. <laughs> and it is just really interesting. So top AI websites for text to video in 2025. We have all of the different ones here. And if we carry on going down, features of AI tools. And again, all of these you can just press on. So if we press on Luma, reading name web pages, it's going to give you more details about Luma. And it just presents the information really nicely, but it also protects your privacy. So again, I just think this is really nice, really neat. And the other thing with Arc is that the display is really clean, really easy to use, and very intuitive from what I know of it so far. So there you go. Those are all of the AI apps for your mobile phone. Which one are you going to be checking out first? Let me know in the comments down below. And at the same time, if there are any AI apps that I've missed, then again, let me know. One that I do know of is Grok. Grok has made a separation from Twitter to be able to use as an app. Now, at the moment, I haven't got access to download it being in the EU at the moment of recording this video, but it does look really good from what I've seen of it so far, but I'm not able to get access to it. So maybe that's something I need to check in a further video in the future. And again, all of these apps are available and are free to check out. If you're interested in checking out Riverside for yourself, make sure to go down to the video description, click on the link where you can sign up for free and also get a discount using my code. And you can also download the app version of Riverside to your phone and utilize it in pairing effectively with the website version as well, which are really great tools and offer great AI powered tools working together. Now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.